It's been some five months since you launched a robo-taxi app, first in Nansha and now it's looking at rolling out to other cities. What have you learned and how does it help you progress, I guess, deployment on a larger scale? When we need to do a, a robo-taxi launch, that means within a 50 square kilometer area, we need to support point-to-point -point operation. And in that kind of scale, the traffic will become much, much more uh, unpredictable. And in order to deal with all these complicated traffic scenarios, that enabled us to continue improving our technology. On the other hand, this is the opportunity for us to understand what the customer needs, uh, what the passenger wants to take a robotaxi from point A to point B, what's their typical daily routine. Do they use a robot taxi to go grab a coffee or, or just to go to uh, work or just to try it out? So do you think we need more liberalized testing rules? We need more unified traffic uh, regulations that will spur the development in this area? I think there's two ways. First, I haven't seen the detailed report on the ranking of the readiness. I think in terms of readiness, they're probably referred to the regulations, the current traffic infrastructures, the uh, advancements of the technology, I, I would uh, assume all these aspects play into the ranking. But I think for, uh, to really make autonomous driving a reality, uh, we, we definitely need help from regulation. We need help from the infrastructure by making the road being smarter, being more uh, organized. Do testing miles matter? Absolutely. Uh, I'll give you an an analogy. It's like how you learn to uh, I'll give you analogies, how you learn a new subject. Say you learn a math. Doing a lot of exercise, uh, finish uh, practicing or, or many, many problem sets. Those are analogy to, to the total miles. I think those are important. But on the other hand, how complex and how comprehensive the, the, the problem sets are, are important. You've said that you expect uh, mass deployment of autonomous driving cars on open roads within three years. Why do you think that will be, that will come so soon? I think one is many of the uh, uh, car manufacturers are coming up with the new type of vehicle platforms that's uh, 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 autonomous driving ready, if we, if we may use that term, meaning that it has a redundant system to make it safer by uh, enabling computers to drive it. Uh, also, the autonomous driving technology itself is quickly advancing. Right? So, so in that two regards, it's like the body, which is the vehicle itself, it gets stronger. The brain is getting smarter. And the third factor is pricing. Right? Many of the uh, sensors, many of the components are continuing uh, to be mass produced and hence the price are dropping. So you think within three years you would have sold your product en masse to car companies and they would already be on the roads? Yes, that's definitely one possibility. Another one is we are actually uh, sc scouting the field with collaborating with uh, car manufacturers and we, we might have a, a, a fleet of autonomous driving vehicles to provide uh, traffic as, as a service.